Good day YouTube, JD here for The Pagan Perspective. Today is June 14th. This week's topic basically covers how do you go from studying a path, you know, reading books, being book smart about it, to actually practicing it, becoming a witch, becoming a shaman, becoming who you want to be, getting deeply into your path. Basically, I believe it just comes down to rituals. Um, you know, once you start to perform rituals, you start to feel those energies, you start to feel connected to the world around you, and you start to feel like you're part of a community. I would say, join Facebook groups. Read, look for rituals. Even if you don't like the rituals that are in the book, make your own rituals. Um, make it part of your everyday life. A ritual can be something as simple as, I'm not even, um, forgive me, I'm not sure who the author was, but there was one author of one of, the, one of the books I read a few years ago where it just talked about just waking up in the morning, looking up at the sky, speaking to the sky, if that's okay in your particular religion. Speak to the sky. Have a conversation with the sky. Have a conversation with the air. Have a conversation with the water. You've probably heard that uh, that crazy kind of... You've probably heard of, the, heard of that crazy kind of stereotype of uh, you know, hippies and people who, who hug trees or talk to trees, talk to a tree. Any kind of thing that you would do that gets you in tune with the individual energies of the earth, uh, to me, would be a ritual. A ritual doesn't have to be this profound kind of ceremonial magician level thing where you're like picking specific types of fabric and specific types of jewels and specific types of metal and things and, you, and you're only doing it on, on one particular day out of the month because that's when the planets align. That is a very complicated way to do stuff that, that qualifies for a ritual but again a ritual can be anything that you do on the regular that taps you into, into energies or has a specific purpose for your religion. So I would say make it meaningful um, if you're a, if you're the type of person who, who relies on day planners or calendars to plan out your day, uh, go ahead. Find an hour out of the day that you can meditate. Simply meditating on your religion or, or, or thinking about your place in your religion is a ritual. To me, that is how you become a, practice, a practicing insert label here. Whether you're a witch, whether you're a shaman, whether you're a priestess. You know, this is that's a highly personal thing, but actively doing something, and it doesn't really mean that you have to get up and run because I've seen people uh, in forums who are paraplegics and they are they are Wiccans, they're witches, they're shaman. These are people who can't move their body, but in their mind, they are deeply into shamanic journeys. They're able to go and um, make contact with people, so they are practicing shamans without even moving their physical body. So, again, to sum it all up, do something that connects you to the energies or has a specific purpose to your religion uh, in order to become, in order to go from someone who reads books to practicing. And that's about all I have to say about this, this particular topic. I'll see you next week here on Thursday at the Pergamon Perspective. Thanks so much for watching the video and blessed be.